Battle of the Nations continues. Be prepared for highly offensive language right from the very start and constantly throughout. Heated arguments, nudity and sexual themes. Previously, two tribes... USA! UK! ...went to war. Yes, yes! Farrah's not coming. Thank you. she was a sore loser. That's rude. No one likes a bitch, love. Don't act like a dumb one, then. You know what I want to say to you? What? Grow up. Thank you. No worries. You seem very condescending. I'm not condescending, young man. Tonight, it's Gim on. <laughs> and the battle continues. She's like the queen bitch or something. I could hear everything. Oh my gosh, she's a bitch. If you respected me, you wouldn't have taken stuff out of my fridge and then had a damn it. thing to eat all day. She's gonna take it too far and then she's gonna get the psycho Italian chick. I think we still need to kind of respect the yeah, what, but what no one, Excuse me, that. no one told me that. Yeah, stupid ass. Am I bad? I don't even know what she's capable of after tonight. Dear three, 9.44 a.m. Last night, Bobby Davro and Janice Dickinson entered the Big Brother house. As UK housemate Bobby beat US housemate Janice in last night's task, he has been appointed House Prime Minister. Oh. Right, good morning, everybody. We all have to get out and we have to go and salute the flag. So leg it. As Prime Minister, he must ensure that whenever the British national anthem is played, housemates gather by the Union Jack flag in the garden. Anyway, good attention. morning. Uh, morning, Prime Minister. Cameron. Morning. <laughs> Soon to be. Cameron. Yes, thank you. No, I, actually, I can't do that with Cameron. So it's, it's either John Major. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. Oh, oh, Tony Blair. <laughs> <laughs> Salute the flag. I'd say. the Queen. Hip hip. Hooray! Hip hooray! Hip hooray! Excellent stuff. Now back to bed. <laughs> Big Brother has provided housemates with a traditional British breakfast. Hey, look at this! Breakfast! Oh my gosh, this is so unique. I'm just saying, good morning. Hey, you too. Listen, don't worry, put it behind No, yeah, but I just say, let's not no, be nasty to no, each other. No, I don't want to fight with you, OK? <laughs> no, we're silly, OK? Yeah? Yes. No worries, thank you. Twelve forty-two pm Janice has come to talk to Big Brother. My role in this house is absolutely to impart wisdom as much as I can, get to know people, hear their stories, you know, you know, be a friend, a confidant, and try to really be helpful. How's your unpacking going? Um, because I'm arthritis, Sherry and Gail have been gracious enough and so kind and generous to help me, you know, put my things up because I, I asked those two to uh, help me because um, I do trust them. I'm so glad that these wonderful women, Gail, my mother had cancer. She's so brave, she's so brave. 
and Sherry, dear Sherry. Sherry to me is legend. Those are my, these women are my friends already. That's all shoes, this bag. <laughs> I'm not even joking. Oh my God. What, where would she go in them? Oh my God, imagine she gets evicted like tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, that would be <laughs> so. Hey, oh, Gail, now I'd do it hey, all Gail, again. would you mind to repack all my bags? I go, oh, do you know what? I'd really love to. Great, hang on, do you <laughs> I just about finished the dishes. I'll be back with you in a moment. <laughs> oh, if you didn't laugh. Oh my God, they're all shoes. No, all no? shoes. Every single one of them are shoes. <laughs> they're all unpacking <laughs> James's suitcase. Unpack it, unpack it. Yeah. Yeah. Like but there's no room for anything. She's, she's, what, she's actually delegated it to people. <laughs> no, she's Bobby. Sleeping. Yeah, she's delegated. Oh, yeah. It. yeah, to to uh, Gail. And Gail's doing everything. Yeah. Yeah, she's hell, fire bless her. Oh, no. She's so sweet, isn't she? I can't believe that they're all unpacking Genesis suitcase because she's asleep. She owns it, mate. She owns yeah, yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. She owns it. Yeah. Mm. You heard that? What? Janice is fast asleep. Everyone's unpacking a suitcase for her. Who is? Everyone. She's made them unpack it. Shut your face. I swear to God, look. Gail and everyone's unpacking a suitcase. She's like the queen bitch or something. That's lovely. I love that. That's for breakfast. Really? No, it's not. Of course it's not. Oh. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so gullible. <laughs> oh, my God. I've never seen so many dresses. Where the okay, fuck so... is she going? <sighs> well, really? I guess... I don't know. Whoa. I hear the seagulls. I feel like I'm on the beach now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's, uh, we must be close, then. I wonder where we are. No, the seagulls are. Are, are a different type of seagulls. <laughs> oh. Thank you, Janice. Oh my gosh. Do you think that she heard like everything? Everything. I could hear everything. <laughs> Fucking bionic ears. <laughs> I'm only meditating. She is not 60. I can hear. <laughs> I'm saying you are you are super fucking human. <laughs> No, I'm a supermodel. <laughs> no, That's she's right, a supermodel. Baby, bang. <laughs> <laughs> Coming up, Gail reveals all. They projected my naked image on the Houses of Parliament. That was me. Holy shit, balls. And it's a clash of the titans. <laughs> As the battle of the nations continues, be prepared for highly offensive language constantly throughout. One fifty-three p.m. Jenna and James are talking about Janice in the bedroom. Oh my God, she's even took over she, no, my she, beauty no, station. No, listen, I got pissed off just now because. She, I had my stuff right next to yours, and she moved all my shit over here and just booted us out. I can't take anything, but when I'm, she moves my beauty station, man, oh, so that's just, real she shit. She moved all stuff your She's just station. like, put everything of mine to one side, man. Wait, did, did, you, but, did you see, wait, did, did she, didn't she throw like a bag or something? What? And goes, she said to somebody, take care of this. Yeah. And just threw it through the door. To go. Fucking hell. I can't believe she just like outed all my shit. I like, just well, move her, her stuff and put your stuff back. Do it, do it, James. I I'll do it. I'm doing it with mine. I'll do she it. moved all my makeup. I I'll do don't, it for I you. Look it. All she's my fierce. stuff was right next to you. No, it. that's fucked up. No, she's so fierce. I'm just gonna like. No. I'll compromise. But it's cool. She, no, hold on. She like is bullying everybody. Yeah, it's not. That's not okay. <laughs> I, I can put deal my with stuff it. right back no, over there. I can deal with it. I'm getting ready over here then. <laughs> this is my beauty station now. Oh, man. Daniel is talking to Big Brother about the mood in the house. I think that, you know, this is the honeymoon phase. Um, you know, the er, er, everything tastes great and sounds great, and there's some minor squabbles and everything, but uh, it's certainly the calm before the storm, you know. Bobby seems to uh, uh, be doing fine. Um, and Janice, you know, when you're, when you're from that world of 
of kind of entitlement in Hollywood, you know, and uh, either being a, you know, a singer or an actor or, or a big model like Janice uh, was. You know, my, my line is, when you walk in and they pull your pants down and they're willing to wash your whole body and wash your car and serve you your lunch, well, because that's how they treat you when you're on a job in Hollywood, you start walking around expecting everyone's going to treat you that way and that you're entitled to be treated that way. So, like I said, I think this is the, this is the, uh, the honeymoon phase uh, and then they'll be, in about three days, we'll start bubbling. It's kind of like a, like a volcano. You know, you see the smoke coming out, so you know it's active. Then you start feeling a little bit of the rumbling. Then maybe a little bit of oozing. And then sure enough, day eight, mark my words, day eight comes the eruption. Janice is feeling patriotic. Called it macaroni, Yankee Doodle. Yankee Doodle dandy, Yankee Doodle. A cotton candy. I'm so oh, excited! I wait, found ginger ale. Is that, is that, uh, I found ginger ale because I'm so Jones. sick. Okay. Oh, I don't care. All right. Okay. Will you tell her? Oh, I'll tell her, sweetie pie. Okay, fine. Just so, just so I let you know, so in case anyone. She drank like five cokes already. Yeah. So. Well, she drank cokes. Yeah. Yeah. Just to let you know, just to warn you. I'm just I'm sick to my. Oh, don't, don't be, be scared, scared, sweetie. Yeah. Thank you, Gail. That's Do you want okay. me to help you? No, I'm cool. Thank you very much. I'll go pour it right in front of her. Four twenty-seven p.m. James, Austin, and Natasha are talking about Gail. Okay, I still don't know. I still don't know who the fuck she is. Singer, actress, presenter. She's a pretty presenter, and she used to do modelling. Gail, Jenna and Farah are getting to know each other. I want to know your story. Oh, yeah, I don't think I got to hear it all. I so want to hear Nothing it. Something really exciting. I like it. I bet it is. I used to babysit for a director's kids, and he said, do you want to come and audition for a kids programme? He said, you're great with kids. And I went and auditioned, and I got the job. First audition I ever did. Awesome. So, so then I did that, and then I did quite a few kids shows wow. and then I did Top of the Pops which is a music show oh, here yeah, yeah and then um, that's a big show here right yeah yeah and then I started doing magazines because I had very long blonde hair Wow. and FHM did a bit of a naughty shoot with me and wow. and so I did a picture of look me. at you yeah, like, girl. Dang, girl. so then they projected my naked image on the Houses of Parliament a hundred foot high naked in the middle of the night illegal and it was all over that was you that was me holy shit balls yeah wow that damn was you have like i have new respect for you dang <laughs> and then um all my hair fell out 10 years ago like and and tell me about that um they think it's stress related or hormone related they're not very sure i went through lots of different so they, yeah, they, they haven't even put their finger on it. They don't well, know. Well, no, lots of people have it, but they don't really know why you get it. So, um, it's not know. like cancer related? No, no, no. But, um, Holy so it's not alopecia or vilago or... Yeah, I had alopecia universalis, so I lost all my eyebrow, everything, okay, every single yeah. thing in my body. I had okay. no hair. Then TV work sort of went a bit, why don't you wear a wig? And I was like, because if you don't like me for who I am, then you can fuck That's right That's a lot off. of work for you. <laughs> yeah, I'm and you're sorry. so beautiful. Like, I mean. I was like, I'm not doing anything to myself. If you don't like it, you can fucking lump it. Uh -huh. You can lump so, it. So, yeah. <laughs> 6, 17 p.m. For today's task, Team UK and Team USA will go head to head in a fact off. Whichever team guesses the most facts correctly wins. <laughs> if I vomit on you, it's all in good fun. This housemate is a trained pole vaulter. That is a long time. Oh, she did it! The winner of the race was Natasha. Yes! Natasha, you should now reveal who you think Big Brother was talking about. Was it Jenna? Ooh. Fuck! Friend. Come on, baby. Ooh. Austin! <laughs> what? Yes! 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 yes. yes. Got this scoop. Of course. Oh, <laughs> 
Yeah, I'm about to break this. Oh, One more second and I'm going to fall off. It's the son of an Olympian. He's got it. He's got it. He's got it. Wait for the gun. Don't We're just talking. <laughs> Scoot should now state who he thinks Big Brother was talking about. I'm going to say Bobby Davro. Yeah! Yeah! My dad was a, a, a British mile champion and ran with the great Roger Bannister in the 1948 and 52 Olympics. I love you, Dad. I love you, Dad. This housemate craves fame because it's easy. This housemate has been referred to as every parent's nightmare by Simon Cowell. You gotta, you gotta get this. The winner of the race was Austin. Yay! Yeah. I tried. I tried. Woo, 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 woo. Oh, you got is it, it Chloe? Yeah. Yes! Yes! Ooh. I actually was going to say as well. Yes! I went to an X Factor audition. They said to me, you know, what do you crave? And I was like, oh, bunnies and rainbows and butterflies. And they're like, how about fame? And I was like, oh, okay, why not? They said, can you say, I crave fame? So I did, I said it. And they aired it, because that's what they do. You know what? You know what, something, honey? Simon Cowell <laughs> is in the closet, okay? <laughs> <laughs> you can do it. my dream. Oh, and it's not Simon Cowell. Fuck that Simon Cowell. Fuck that Simon Cowell. I'll say it right now. <laughs> Simon Cowell, you shouldn't have done that to her. How dare you? She claims fame. What do you, Claire? You need a fucking chest waxing, all right? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Simon Cow, bite my dick! <laughs> Why are you holding on to our tea? Yet? Leave our tea alone! Right this housemate's naked image has been projected onto the Houses of Parliament. Gail. <laughs> You got this, Baldwin. This housemate's boobs were paid for by Sylvester Stallone. Go, Baldwin! Go! who he thinks Big Brother was talking about. <laughs> I believe that Big Brother was speaking of the original supermodel of the world, Janice Dickinson. Yeah. Yay! Yay! He, he paid for my, for my breast. Thank you. Rambito. Thank you. Wow. Rambito. Coming up, Janice and Jenna face off. Just please respect my religion. No, I'm going to put this right back, you know, it you doesn't know, matter. Do you use I'm anything I have? Anything. It's not about that. Read a book, man. Oh my Stupid god. Ass. Idiot. And Chloe Jasmine's frustrated. Imagine you're in here with your partner and you have so many aspects of your relationship that you just couldn't do. This, 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 you want to have sex, you know. Oh uh, yes. yeah. As the battle of the nations continues, be prepared for highly offensive language constantly throughout, heated arguments and sexual themes. Seven twenty two PM. For today's task, housemates are competing in a fast-spinning fact-off. Now, don't break it this time. <laughs> I'm going to go for it. <laughs> Me too. They must race across the finish line and correctly identify housemates by clues given by Big Brother. 
So far, the USA have scored four and the UK have scored one. Here we go. Oh, they're going fast this time! <laughs> you rotten swine! This housemate's stage name came from the amount of ice cream they could eat. The winner of the race was... Bobby. <laughs> I wonder what his answer will be. It is the big man himself, Scoopy Doopy! Come on, bro! This housemate has debated at the Oxford Union. This housemate once peed on a girl in a limo. <laughs> big Brother can now reveal that the winner of the race was Austin. Austin should now reveal who he thinks Big Brother was talking about. Natasha. Ooh, oh. steal it, Stevie, steal it. I think it's going to be USA and it's going to be Jenna. Oh. Yes! Come on! Yes! 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 yes. <laughs> that is going getting faster. This housemate has swapped wives with Jermaine Jackson. You guys, it's Jenna! Here we go! Jenna! Daniel? Oh. Yes! Yeah. Payback! Yeah! That was really well played. Well played. Yeah. Well played. Yeah. With scores level pegging, it's now down to this last spin to decide the winner. Bring it, big brother, bring it! This housemate thinks they look like Bruce Willis. This housemate has painted portraits of Katie Price and Michael Caine. Oh my fucking god. Big Brother can now reveal that the winner of the race was Austin. Austin should now attempt to answer the question. Chris Ellison. The winners of today's task are Team USA. Nine or nine PM. Whilst all the other housemates are finishing off their dinner, Janice is looking for something to eat. Jenna is Jewish and only eats kosher food, so she has her own kosher fridge. Oh boy. Yeah, because we sit in my box. Oh my gosh, she's in the kitchen. Oh my gosh. I'm not saying a fucking word right now. I'm in no mood. Hey Janice, are you also um, Jewish? All right. No. Okay, I think that's Jenna. That's Jenna's like Jewish for the Jewish culture. It's what? kosher. That's all kosher, just so you know. Good. Okay. I'm glad they got, gave her food that she asked for, and I wish she got the food she requested. Cause I didn't get any dinner. Go for it. We're all eating. Janice, I think what it is, is you know, because she's Jewish and she does like this kosher diet and everything. Yes, so I'm kosher too. Oh, yeah? Okay. That's cool. You're walking it off now, right? I am. I just, I saw, I just yeah. sit. I'm walking it off. Walk it off. Walk I'm it off. What happened? What happened? What happened? That's about to. It's going to go again? Yeah, it's going to go, man. Well, she, 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 Janice is out there. She's in my kosher fridge. 
and I was just like, I'm not even going to approach right now. But the label was put on there. And I know. Was told that's I know. special stuff. You I don't know. have choices. Yeah, she's fierce. <laughs> what happened? No, I, I no, tried to listen. tell her, and she's like, no, so he, I'm kosher. Opens the celery, starts snapping the celery open and shit like yeah, that. Like, yeah. Are you fucking Fra kidding Fra me? Farrah told her she was kosher and she was I'm like, gonna, I'll no, 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 no. Stop being a fact. peacemaker and let people have their spot. Listen, if she that's needs to tell fucking her crazy. Her line, that's her special thing set up because of a religious belief that she had. And that's just wrong. Just and she that. was told right, and she not, still please. ate it? She, 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 so Farrah told her and she still she ate it? Then I just said, look, I went over just nice to try and tell her and she just... I'm about to go oh, eat God. fucking Janice's no, face. Do, 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 do you. I know, I know, I know, I know. Do what you do. I'm not going to motherfuck her. Do what you do. Hey, Janice, I wanted to talk to you about um, my fridge. That's your fridge. Yeah, they have it set aside because it, I have to eat 100% kosher. So, um, are you kosher? No, I'm lying. Of course I'm no, kosher. No, I said, I said I eat kosher. Oh, well, I, I just have everything set perfectly aside. And, you know, I really would really like you to, like, respect that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, like, by them telling you... And then you still going ahead and eating it. I think it's a little bit. I haven't had any dinner, dear. Well, and neither I'll, have oh I. Oh my God, you love celery. Oh, I haven't just, had any dinner. Neither have I. Well, have because some I celery. can't eat at a table when they're serving sausage because no, I'm kosher. No, it's not. It's not so, right. So what I'm saying is that just please respect my religion. I, I would, do respect I would, you. And I do, wait, wait, wait! Don't look away. I do respect you. Okay, and if I, you respected me, you wouldn't have taken stuff out of my fridge I and then gone ahead and eaten it. I haven't had a damn fucking thing to eat all day. I don't care. That's still disrespecting my religion. I There's a bunch of food. Let okay? me put this back. I apologize. That's all I'm saying. It's already. Oh, no, no, it doesn't no. matter. I'm just I asking you from now on. That's all. No, no, no. I'm going to put this right back. There's, you know, it you doesn't know, matter. You can still I'm use anything I have. Anything. It's not about that. Read a book, man. Oh my Stupid God. Ass. I'll put it right back. Sorry about I that. I came to her night, you know, too. Am I bad? Yeah, but you're bad. <laughs> idiot. You idiot. Fucking idiot, dude. She's so lucky. I just, I came to her hella cool, said, please respect my religion. And I thought, and I think that's very disrespectful that you found out that it was my fridge, I it was my kosher her. food, and she went ahead and eat, eat, ate it. And she goes, I haven't eaten anything all night. I go, neither but have I. I. But she was have you guys seen me eat a no, bite? No, you did not. You did not eat. Okay, so I'm waiting because I can't sit and eat at a table with sausages and everything ser being served. So I'm trying to observe my religion, and somebody just looking at me and going, fuck you, pretty much fuck you. Is there anything else I took out of there? Oh. How can I scrape the butter off, the kosher butter off? You see, what she doesn't know is no one told me before, except I just heard about it right now, that that was her fridge. No one announced it to me, for the record. Do you know what? That's a good point, right? Sherry, no one told me last right, night. Jenna's, Jenna's a bit upset, right, everyone? Because she's, she's kosher, okay? And that's her, like, that's her fridge, that's her side, right? And she said it to me a few times that, she doesn't want to get annoyed or get on to anybody, but I think we should all need to kind of respect that yeah, what, but what no her one, beliefs are and all Excuse me, that. no one told me that. No, we'll now, she feels disrespected. Yeah, I'll have a word with her. Right? Okay? Uh-huh. I'm going to go talk to her and, like, say I didn't honestly know. Yeah, because like, we we're all people. lonely and miss our oh, yeah. families. Jenna? That's fucking weird. Jenna, yeah, that's, I'm, well, I'm sorry. Oh, it's okay. No, it is not I, okay. I accept your apology. No one told me that that was your fridge. Okay. No one said I know, I just, this I, is, I, no, that's why I didn't no come at you, I, I didn't come at you sideways about it. I, I just I said, uh, but I want future, you to know that I do respect you, especially your, reli your religion. My two children are half Jewish. I think the thing I, that bugged know, me is that she said something and then you just continued like, what, well, somebody's whatever. Well, stirring the fucking pot. I'm starving. I'm sick. I'm, I'm sorry. Okay. I'm old, you know. No, no. I, I, all right. Okay. So I, I think that I, I, I've made it very, perfectly clear to you 
when I worked with you years ago. No, I you know, respect no, you, and you that's know, why I came to you cool. I came you to you cool. You were not cool. You were upset with me, and you were very terse. No. Yeah. You were terse. I, I, listen, I came to you, and I said, listen, just in the future, that's my fridge, and if, I if you don't even, mind. I will, I will I say, make if you don't sure mind, I was thing. very kind. Yeah, I was you not know what? Fine. And then you I were like, and I'm just I'm like. I'm just really hungry, and I get it. You know, so am I right you still need for me. You know, feel free just to take yeah. anything you need. That's how it's I not am. like that. You're you making know, me out like I'm like keeping you no, from food. I came I'm not. It's just my religion. Okay? okay, so don't come in here and try it all I over again. Your okay? Religion. Gosh. Oh. God dang, woman. Fucking really? I ain't the one. She's going to take it too far, and then she's going to get fucking, like, the psycho Italian chick. Fucking, like, Farrah went in there, and she's, like, stirring the pot. She says, I, well, I overheard them. She came up, and she said, well, I told Dennis. And she's like, well, that was really weird. And I, I came in, and I said, I said, look, I'm so sorry. No one told me that. You're not meant to know, are you? Well, don't worry about it, Jan. That's you... an attempted poached egg, but I'm doing oh, well, egg. This is so Wait, this is so perfect. Look. No, no, no. Wait, I've got another, I've got no, one no, 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 no. This is so good. Trust me. I'll eat it. Like it have food. That's nice. Appetizing. No, Jan, don't, don't worry about it. No, don't get upset, love. <laughs> you know what? No. You're right. Do you want a cuddle? Do you want a, do you want, do you want a, <laughs> you sure? Do you want a hug or something? You sure? You weren't meant to no, know. No, no one told me about that. You know, yeah, but and I, you know, I, you know, she kept saying, "You don't respect my, you know, you just respect my religion." I said, "My two children are half Jewish. What are you talking about? I've married three, four Jewish men. My my fiance is Jewish. You don't know any of this yeah. shit. You know, don't give me that fucking crap shit, motherfucker. No. Don't give it to me. No, 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 no. But I'm still entitled to be upset. Yeah, of course. You know? We're all human beings at the end of the day, Dennis. We, we, we can get emotional and they get But upset. there's human beings and human beings. I'm not doing this for fucking camera time. I don't need fucking camera time. I'm very famous. Nine forty p.m. Jenna and Farah are discussing Stevie and Chloe Jasmine. You're still on TV hugging, sitting on each other, grinding on his dick, like other weird shit that I just don't understand right now. I have worked with couples that I didn't even know they were dating or engaged, like huge right. rings. I know, me too. Lived together. They kept it professional. Mm -hmm. yeah. These fucks are not professional about it. I mean, I, the only thing, it just makes me a little bit uncomfortable. Like, I mean, just because they're not sensitive to the fact that we're all in a different but when kind you're of crying situation. crying and crying. That's like not taking our feelings into, you know. Like if you don't want to be here, if you can't fucking handle your sexuality or whatever the fuck that is. Isn't that like immature to be like that weird? It's, it's, it's very codependent. Chloe Jasmine is feeling emotional. You'll be all right. Talk no, to me. I'm, talk. you know, I'm very, I'm very good with shit. Probably, well? pro probably find it really juvenile. <laughs> Stop it. Listen to me. I have a daughter. This is 21. Okay. Imagine you're in here with your partner, and you know, so many aspects of your relationship that you just couldn't do. God, this is the hardest thing. This is so hard. And they want us together in here. So this, 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 you want to have sex, you know? Uh, yes. Yeah. But, well, you can do that. There's several ways to have sex. Janice, we do. There well, we go. We do. And you should have time to go and have sex. And, like, Big Brother should respect that. And keep oh, people out of the but, bedroom. But we can't. No. Why? They said no sex? Well, no, it's not that. We said it. That's the thing, Janice, but we're not going to do that. Do, yeah. Need to have headlines of, like, the magazine tomorrow. I always so horny. She needs to have her, you know, no, you know, whatever. I'm, you know, I'm not letting that I'll happen. I'll keep part on I was oh, sexually yeah. frustrated. Oh, but you know what? But just sex, just a cuddle, is as important as like you just hear at that age where you want to like read. So you don't want to. You don't want to. You don't want to. Mm, mm, we can't. I want to, but we can't. I believe that we're stronger than our animalistic desires mentally. <laughs> and you know what I always find is so weird? Like when couples meet on shows, they just stay together because of like the whole fame thing and milk that shit. Do you think so? 
they could be fun, but they're, but they're barely ever world. talkative. In their own world, that's yeah. for sure. How about sit with other people and just be your own person for two minutes out of the day? Dude. Not be a freaking Siamese twin. It's like smoking. Not to be bitchy, but come on. On your boy's dick. Smoking I was like, <sighs> on your boy's dick. That's all I see. <laughs> Coming up, Jenna's had enough. Listen, I'm a tough bitch, but it just kind of hurt me. And James gets more than he bargained for. Are you fucking naked? <laughs> oh. Yeah, don't show them that. Don't show really fucking naked. As the battle of the nations continues, be prepared for highly offensive language constantly throughout, nudity and sexual themes. <laughs> 10 53 pm. Grammy Award winning rapper Fat Man Scoop and Hollywood actor Daniel Baldwin are washing their smalls. <laughs> Natasha, James, Janice and Bobby are having a late night chat. You know, very... I tell you what is disappointing, and I don't know how you feel about him, it's Bill Cosby. All this business about, you know, with, with the women. Terrible. I'm one of those women. Oh, oh, then listen, let's not go sure. there then. Let's not go there. Okay, then. Well, you brought it up. Oh, no, I'm sorry, I didn't know that, though. I'm sorry. She didn't know it. No, I mean, none of us did. I'm sorry. Okay, now. Um, you've, been, you've been raped. No, it was it, was it, what, well, Cosby? I was no. drugged and raped by Cosby. You oh, knew that. I she knew know. that. I, I didn't know it. But come on, it, every. It, no, it's like I the never biggest knew story that. in the world right now. I never, no, but I don't know the people involved. Well, you're looking sitting next How old to one. Was you okay, God, how dreadful. Can I'm gonna have to have a cigarette now. <laughs> I need another one. Yeah, I'll have one of mine. No, thank you. <laughs> it's not they're not even mine. <clears throat> oh, I, we haven't upset you by mentioning it. Yeah, that's all right. Gosh, I'm really sorry, Janice. Right. So I'm just gonna get my cigs. Okay. Wow. Jenna is in the diary room, reflecting on the deer. Well, it's been an eventful day. There's no doubt about that. I'm not going to get into a jousting battle with this woman because God knows I, I don't even know what she's capable of after tonight. Oh my. Were you surprised by her reaction? I was in, you know what, I was kind of hurt by her re reaction to be honest. Like it hurt me. I addressed it with her, kindly I thought. But I'm never one to back down when somebody is rude. And <laughs> she really reacted in such an odd way that I, I couldn't even make sense of it. Like, she, it went from, you know, I'm kosher too, to um, I'm just hungry and old. And I'm like, well, there's a huge other fridge, like, and I just asked you just in the future to to not do, you know, do that just for my sake and to respect me, my me and my religion. So it it just kind of hurt me. Listen, I'm a tough bitch. I have come through things in my life that not many people can. So I mean, this to me is it's petty but my religion to me is so important. So, I don't know, it just kind of like threw me sideways for sure. But I'll get over it because I'm tough, you know? Twelve forty-three a.m. Gail is making Janice's bed. Gail, are you changing Janice's bed? Are you serious? She's tired. Uh, Fuck being tired. She's such a deep. She's walking all over you now, Gail. You gonna give me a hand here? Yeah, I will help you. Yeah, but I think you're silly, and I think yeah, you need I know, to stop I'm stupid. It. I am stupid. I know. You're stupid. Yeah, you need to stop no, it. No, but I offer. It. I offer it as well. So it's yeah, not because just because you're too nice. Well, no, I just. Do you know what I mean? It isn't your job to clean up after everybody. It's not your job to yeah, but unpack I offer a suitcase it. and I make offer. all the bed and everything. I know you're because you're nice, but 
Yeah, what a darling. No, what an idiot. <laughs> yeah, you are an idiot. Yeah. She's a fucking diva, isn't she? No, do you know what? I think there's more to her than that. Chloe, Jasmine and Stevie are reminiscing in the tower. It's, it's so weird how we sort of... It's weird, isn't got it? ...got together, babe. And it sounds really strange. You could think I'm a complete nutter. But I felt your loneliness. I felt your loneliness when what, I walked into What, that night in the room? room? Yeah, I did. I felt your pain and your loneliness. I knew something wasn't right. I was in my um, room. Jay weren't there. You felt lonely. I, I just was... I just I thought I just wanted a bit of me time. And then I knock at the door and it was you. And no makeup on. Yeah, and no knickers and on. No, you had no knickers on. I did that time. You didn't that time, and babe. Oh, I'm just super forgetful. I think I just shower. But I progress. didn't expect you of all people to come into my room. Why? At all. I didn't think that you would find me at all attractive, you know, because... You're attractive in so many ways. I didn't expect to find love on the X Factor. And then you sort of... I didn't think you expected to find love full stop. I know. James has joined Austin in the bath. Uh, so good. Well, I guess I'll have to go find a mate to run my thigh, but it's all good. I'm not doing it. Yeah, you are. No, I'm fucking not. Yeah, you are. Go on. No, I'm fucking not. Right, I'm done. See you. See you later. Changing beds. <laughs> Scoop! Scoop! I wish that him and Scoop shared a bed. No. But we'd have Don't change. Why are you changing the subject? I'm not changing the subject. What is the problem with rubbing my, the back of my leg because it hurts? I don't want to rub the fucking car. I don't want to rub your hamstring. What in a bath? We're in a hot tub with pant with, with with speedos on. Fuck on, fuck on, turn around. I'm sort it out. It's right there. What do you want me to do? Just. Form, do this with your knuckles and just do this. I'm not asking you to stick, stick a cheeky finger up my asshole, am I? No. In a fucking bathtub. I'm not fucking bathtub bromance. Thing. All you're trying to do is fucking run our relationship. <laughs> now nah, we're in a good place. And I'm standing my ground. No, nah, you're good. We're in a good. We're in a good place, so. Three or five a.m. Most of the housemates are asleep. Austin is still after a massage. I'm saying now that shit still hurts. <laughs> I'm not fucking touching your fucking fucking bed. What? Oh, okay. Don't talk to me for the rest of the morning. Oh. See if this works. She don't know how to behave, she's from, from Liverpool. How do you think I feel? I shit myself. All I saw, I think of the grudge. Ooh, bad film. My work here. Done. Hold on. Can we, can you, are you going to rub this for a minute? What did she do? What? Can you just James. Can you rub James. Do, Natasha, what please, just this, like, fucking this fight. Like, from nowhere. <laughs> she came up under the... She fucking jumped on back from nowhere. <laughs> Natasha. <laughs> that was fucking scary. <laughs> did that look scary? <laughs> Shit me up. <laughs> You're like, uh... What? Like a, like Are you a... fucking naked? <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. Don't show them that. Is that really fucking naked? Because I have to rub my hamstring. <laughs> Big brother, I can't fucking deal with this. I just told you I have to rub my hamstring. Why do you think I have this lotion? I'm not having a cheeky wank right next to you. <laughs> fucking hell. I've got a massage oh, my hamstring God. so I don't die and it has to be amputated tomorrow. Oh, man. Oh. Why me? Why fucking me? Chris, tell me the truth. Yeah, go on. If you had a mate and he was like, oh fuck, I've pulled my hamstring, right? Yeah. And he's like, I, mate, I really need you to massage it because I can't get to it. <laughs> What'd you do it? You're wanking or something. What, this? You're massaging your ass, not your fucking hamstring. Well, that's. 
I was being cheeky with it for a minute. Right, so Chris, go ahead, answer that question. When you're no, playing. No, that's not a mate. He should have helped you. He should have done it. Right, James, did you hear? <laughs> Cast your minds back to the decade of big hair and even bigger shoulder pads next on Channel 5. We're celebrating some right classics in brand new 20 moments that rock the 80s.